It was a day of celebration for President Obama and a day of soul searching for the Republican Party and a reality check for a nation seeking to move forward after a hard fought election. Tonight, your voice has become your vote, and these are the results at this hour. Electoral votes, President Obama with a decisive victory, and the president also winning the popular vote. And there are two pictures this morning after that say so much about two families after the long campaign. Governor Romney gathered with his family in a hotel room, and President Obama and his family on their way back to the White House. And ABC's White House correspondent Jake Tapper with us again tonight. Jake. Good evening, Diane. After logging more than 170,000 miles on Air Force One in a grueling and intense campaign, President Obama finally got an opportunity today to take a breath and enjoy his hard-fought campaign. Late this afternoon, the first family boarded Air Force One to return to the White House, which, for four more years, they can call home. In his victory speech in the wee small hours of this morning, the president said he was invigorated. I returned to the White House more determined and more inspired than ever about the work there is to do. Before he left Chicago, the president stopped by campaign headquarters to thank campaign manager Jim Messina and other staffers with hugs. He might want to stock up on those hugs. The American people have voted for the same divided government and potential gridlock we've had for two years. Today, Republicans and conservatives were overwrought, wringing their hands, trying to figure out what went wrong in an election some predicted would be a Romney landslide. I went to bed last night thinking we're outnumbered. I went to bed last night thinking we've lost the country. I think Republicans have done a pathetic job of reaching out to people of color. If Mitt Romney cannot win in this economy, then the tipping point has been reached. On the president's to-do list, economic growth and jobs, immigration reform, and the top priority, those tax cuts set to expire come midnight New Year's Eve. But whatever difficulties might lie ahead, the president seized his moment early this morning, staking his claim in history with a nod to the lofty rhetoric from his convention speech eight years ago and his hopes for what might be. I believe we can seize this future together because we are not as divided as our politics suggest and we remain more than a collection of red states and blue states. We are and forever will be the United States of America. And in that vein, Diane, President Obama reached out to the House and Senate Republican leadership. They also pledged to work together to solve this nation's problems. Of course, the challenge is turning that rhetoric into reality.